Hello all! Today I'm going to be going over a few extra things that were left out of my most recent Omen Modular Exterminator video because um, that only covered one technique involving the engineer here and there are obviously multiple techniques that you can use against the Omen Modular Exterminator and um, you can't fit them all into one minute. And then I'm also going to add some other little tidbits that I had in the original script but I had to cut for time. This was... I, I, I had to cut a lot for time this time, so this is why I'm making a, a little supplemental video. Um, I'm going to be using Sandbox Utilities to actually get this thing to spawn. If you ever want to practice, um, practice using, or, or practice beating the, uh, the, the Omen, then I would recommend just, uh, give Sandbox Utilities an install, um, create a Sandbox profile with, uh, you can save your current one, and then just do Force Machine Event gun tower that's what i used to get footage for the video if you think that would be beneficial for you to get practice with just any technique that i mentioned mentioned in the short or in this or in this video um i i, I would recommend you do that okay let's uh let's jump into it yeah so i found a omen modular exterminator um so let's go over some stuff so you can actually see the layers before they come out um this pulse gun is always going to be on the bottom it will always be on the bottom, um, and the platform that actually links to this is always, is always going to be this one, too. The one that's directly across from the core infuser. Yeah, all, always the one here. You're going to want to prioritize this one during the event, because even when you have engineer platforms, or, well, we're going to go over that. Um, even, even if you have engineer platforms or whatever else uh, uh, elevating you above, it is still... It still makes the event just like a hundred times easier to get to get rid of this bottom layer first. So, without a doubt, go for this platform first. Target the bottom layer. So, if we're actually putting down the platforms, um, I mentioned in the video you should put them about the height of the mule. Um, while this is true, you don't necessarily need the mule to do this. Um, like, eventually, you just kind of know where to put the platform. But like, if you put it like right around here. That's perfect. And the reason why you want them elevated and why you don't want them above or anything like that is because the plasma just kind of rips through the platforms. If the platforms are too low, they'll get obliterated. Uh, for the twin slicer, the twin slicer also damages the platforms. Like, it, it, it rips through them. But, um, like, it's not nearly as much of a threat because half the time the lasers are going towards the ceiling or towards the other part of the map. So, the twin slicer is probably the... the like least threatening part of this event so the other there, there are some alternatives to the platforms because obviously you're not always going to have an ng so one of the two alternatives that i would recommend for putting like platforms above is you can actually use a supply pod on top of one of these and if you just stand on top of the resupply during the event then that'll also like you just the the plasma just won't hit you either so it's it's just as good as the platform and then the, and then the other, the last one is the mule you can actually stand on top of the mule during the event i would personally not recommend this one because the mule will kind of just run away and also it's the mule it's unreliable i wouldn't stand on it it's just platforms of the resupplies are going to be your best bet um after taking out this one though with with a resupply pod though you, you don't need to get the other two so if, you, if you're not ingy just call a resupply on top of one of them get that bottom layer done and then the other two just kind of roll off the tongue um there is one other thing that i've seen tossed around is that you can use gunner zip lines to activate the platforms which again i wouldn't recommend because that would also be a bit unreliable <sighs> um and i'm gonna cut away to future me who's going to show you a driller technique so i'm here in the future with a driller me to show you another technique about uh, involving the driller. This is if you don't have an engineer, it's, it's another alternative, alternative, and then, yeah. So some people, I don't personally do this, but um, it is really useful, and I should probably start doing it more when I don't have an engineer. Although I have, I have an engineer more often, so this is why I don't use it. But it, it makes traveling between the platforms with just so much easier. So all you gotta do, is drill trenches between each of the platforms like so just like a full length down and then all the way to and then th this makes traveling between 
the platforms during the actual event much easier. Yeah, so this is really useful just because, like, you, instead of traveling up top where uh, the plasma beams can get you during the event, um, you can travel through the trenches instead. And what that will do is it'll just protect you from the plasma, obviously, if this one hasn't already been, if that one already already hasn't been destroyed, which is really useful. And this also provides some cover from the heavy burster, which is good. But yeah, as you see, the, pl the plasma just can't touch me down here. So I can go from here to here without needing to deal with the plasma. Okay, now that we're back here, um, I'm going to start up the event real quick. I'm going to put the platforms yeah, like right around there if I don't get grabbed by that grabber. During the event, if you are an engineer, you want to have those turrets down because although I do not have the drone replicator right now, um, these are great for getting rid of the drones that come out of the replicator. It's, um, it it, it kind of manages them for you, which is nice. Um, however, if you do have a drone replicator, they're not difficult, difficult at all. Just as they come out, just go bang, bang, and then they're dead. You know, it's, it's not that difficult. They're, um, it's just, if you, if you lose sight of them or you lose track of them though, that's when they become a, that's when they become a menace and they will deal serious damage. They're just as bad as the plasma, but they're way easier to deal with. For starting, I also recommend having some sort of direct damage weapon. Whenever you're shooting the green cubes that pop out, um, which actually I'll show right now. Okay, so the reason I, reason why I would recommend like direct damage for the event, which I'm probably gonna die because I'm not because I'm talking too much, but uh, in just like the general like damage area, you always want to use your direct damage weapon because that is what's going to deal the most damage against those green cubes. Um, like if you're on driller, if you're, if you're on driller, use your secondary because um, your primary is going to do jack shit. Um, yeah, just direct damage is best. If you have any AOE weapons, just uh, don't use those. I'll cut back to Driller who will show you uh, how to deal with the pulse gun without having platforms at all. Now, if we're actually dealing with the plasma, it's um, it's not that difficult. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore the trenches here. I'm gonna pretend like they don't exist. So, um, if you're trying to get rid of the plasma, then like you you, you kind of you kind of SOL unless you have this one first. Still go for this platform first. If you can so yeah if you're having trouble with the plasma um all you got to do is move between the plasma just make sure that you're paying attention so just pay attention to the plasma make sure that it doesn't have an opportunity to hit you treat it like it's a, like it's a like it's a moving labyrinth you know that'll mm, that'll help you in surviving them and then of course you can always default to another technique here if you don't want to deal with that which is definitely useful to do i am try i am dying here holy sh psa pay attention to drones i hope this video cleared something up that might have been lingering from the original omen short um that one just went over one technique i hope that these other techniques will help you in your missions um yeah i will drop a link to sandbox utilities in the comments um, it's only available on Steam, unfortunately, but it is really useful. If I missed anything, uh, let me know in the comments below. I hope that what I covered here today will help you. All right, rock and stone, y'all. See you in the next one.